What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Ark Nights on this very early morning down here in Austin, Texas. In today's video, I thought the Silver Ash banner would be live by the time I woke up, but it's actually not going to be here for a couple of hours. But I was like, you know what, FG, you're already awake. You might as well set up your recruitment tags. And then another FG was like, you know what, if you're going to set up your recruitment tags, you might as well record a video. And I was like, you two FGs, you guys are smart. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, inside the recruitment. Now, if you guys are not familiar with this, it's very straightforward. Basically, you can use this system here to recruit new units to your team using a couple of parameters here. So the very first one here is actual time. So the longer you wait, the higher the rarity. And then the more important one is job tags. So based on which job tags you select, you can lessen the spread of which characters that you can receive out of this system. Now, keep in mind, I'm using those words very particular, right? I'm not saying that it can get guarantee a specific character all i'm saying that is that it can lessen the spread of which characters you can potentially get so let me give you guys a live example and i'm going to go ahead and link this website in the description below but let's say for example you were feeling a little lazy you went into the system you're like you know what the only tag i'm going to tag is going to be melee right here is the spread of characters that you're going to get if the only thing that you tag is melee. Now, sure, could you get a Texas? I'd be mad at you, but you could, but you probably will not. Um, so the best thing to do here in this system is to basically um, lessen the spread by adding more tags. So let me give you another example here. So, for example, let's say I was really lucky. I got melee and I also got support. Right? As you guys can see, this list starts to get very, very small. In addition to that, let's say I had really good luck, and I was like, you know what? Another tag that I received was DP Recovery, which most vanguards are. DP Recovery. Look at how small this list is. So if you're lucky enough to get the RNG of Melee, Support, and DP Recovery, the odds of you getting Zima are extremely higher. <laughs> So it's still not guaranteed because through the RNG mechanisms, some of these tags can fall off before the timer uh, goes off. So you're sitting there for nine hours. You think there's going to be a guaranteed Zima there waiting for you? Not necessarily. It's possible. It's more possible, but it's still not guaranteed. Um, but that's definitely what you want to look for when you're doing your recruit tags here. So um, for this one right here, um, I'm going to do guard, DPS, and melee. So if I go back over here to this one, I'll show you what it, it's, it's not a very good spread, but it's the best that I have right here. So guard, melee, DPS. Um, so this is what I'm going to get here. So this is, this is still a smaller spread than anything else. Um, so hopefully we can get way up here when it comes to the rarity here. Um, so once again, crank this bad boy all the way up to nine hours and then send it on its way. There you go. So hopefully I'll get some good luck there. Um, so in addition to that, you also have the ability to basically reshuffle um, these different tags here. Um, this is based on your little recruitment building here in your base. So if we go over there, I'll show you what that's all about here. If you go over here into your office, this is what this character is doing. So basically, in game terms, she's contacting different operators to join your cause. She can do this, or he or she can do this on a timer here. So as you guys can see, this timer is ticking down. Um, I have three that I can have total. Um, and I assume as I level up this base, I'll be able to get even more refreshes as time goes on, which is very helpful. So every single day that you log in, when you do your recruits, you want to try to find the best RNG mix of tags that you possibly can. But at the end of the day, if you can't find anything great and you've already used all of your refreshes, just go ahead and just set up something, right? Like, right, I think this one's gonna suck. DP Recovery, Vanguard. I don't really think, because there's no such thing as a sniper supporter or a sniper DP Recovery. See, sometimes you're just gonna get really bad ones. <laughs> so um, don't fret, just go ahead and send them on their way. Let's just see what this is. Vanguard, DP, up. Oh! Wait a minute. <laughs> Vanguard TP recovery. All right. Let's see. Cuz that spread is still not it's still not terrible. So I'm just going to go for that. Um anything else is not really going to matter. So we'll go for that. And then for this last one here, see this one's kind of DP recovery melee. So I got a lot of DP recovery it looks like. DP recovery melee. So that's going to be that list right there. I'm just going to go for that. DP Recovery Melee. 
done and done so send those all off they'll be back in nine hours so there you have it so that is the recruit there um and then as you guys can see here in the hr office once this is leveled up to level three you will unlock a four slot there so that is that um in addition speaking of the actual event so this is what i was talking about a little bit earlier um the banner itself and the event are not synced at the very same time um so if you're waking up early like i am you're gonna have this but you're not gonna have the silver ash banner just yet but it is coming a little later today um this is a very easy event basically spin st uh, sanity that's gonna get you um some certificates here some skill books um catapult which is a sniper operator we'll take it we'll take it um, these are going to be some rare Vanguard tokens. Um, we have some promotion materials there. We also have more rare Vanguard tokens here as well. More upgrade materials. There's a headhunting ticket right over there. And then here at the very end, we got all kinds of beautiful LMD. So very nice. And then the very end, a rare medic token. Then um, once you do all of these quests, you will get yourself a free skin for Amia. So very nice. Um, and then don't forget to jump inside your inbox today because check this out. What, what is this? Oh, that's my uh, monthly pass thing. Um, so we get cliff art today if you have been playing the game for seven days. And then we also have this uh, sanity event going on as well. Salted egg chocolate. So getting some free sanity, getting some free characters, free skins, all of the above. It's a good seventh day to be playing. Um, what do you call this game again? Ark Knights. <laughs> it's early, man. It's early. So what I'm going to do right now to end this video off, this is where I am in the story right now. I think this is the last... Ah! I think this is the last a story chapter in the game at the moment. I could be wrong, but that's where I am in the story. Um, today for me is all about um, resource, resource search because I want to upgrade some of my buildings and my base. And then it is finally time for me to upgrade my Vanguard. <laughs> so I was, I was sleeping on this one when the game first came out. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, now I'm here. I, I got to grind the heck out of this because all of my vanguards are not promoted. And that's a big, it's a big problem because they're kind of the foundation of your group, you know? So are we going to do this live FG? We sure are. <laughs> Time to get him. I've never even done this as you guys plainly saw. <laughs> all right. See that? See that? That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I can't. So my mic is covering. This is going to suck. This is gonna suck. My mic is covering my, ah, <laughs> excuses, FG. It's not an excuse. <laughs> my mic is in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen there. So it kind of screws me over. I can't see. Oh, this is hard. This is actual hard mode. Ah! I can't see anything. <laughs> you know what? We'll figure this out. <laughs> no excuses, FG. I got this. All right. We should be fine. We've played this game before, haven't we? We, we can kind of feel it out a little bit. Um, all right. <laughs> Where are you going? You going over there? All right. Everything is good. Let's just go ahead and throw up three vanguards here. That way I can start getting some stamina. These little blocks here give me regeneration. I don't know where you guys are going. Hold on. That was a little bit better of a pro move there, FG. I know. <laughs> Same thing for you. We got this. We got this. All right. I'm going to eventually pull you out. Put in my girl Zima. Now we have some very good regeneration when it comes to... Um, DP points, so now I should be fine. Look at this. Check out the man. That's kind of a bad position. And eh, we're gonna go for it though. And we're gonna go for it still. And then from here, I think we're pretty set. I can't see. Do I have I have one more limit or one more unit left? But I'm feeling pretty good about this. Blind, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but that will do it. You're already doing the outro, FG? Oh, yeah. I think we're good. That will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. I do thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Very nice. All right. Did I get... Actually, let me see something real quick.
So I'll take that auto deploy for right now. I'll try to make it a little faster a little later. Um, so I have one Vanguard ship because of course I do. <laughs> so that is going to be priority number one to get those Vanguard ships to get all my Vanguard units up to E1. Um, so that's going to be pretty hype. Um, and then one last thing I wanted to show you guys as far as that is concerned. Um, don't forget if you go over here into your workshop, you do have the ability to uh, exchange for chips here. So it, it, it's actually set up pretty well. So, for example, today is what? Um, Vanguard Day, and then I think it's also Supporter Day, right? So today, you can get both Vanguard chips and Supporter chips. So while you're running this stage all day long, and you get a bunch of Supporter chips you don't need, you can exchange those for Vanguard chips, and then vice versa. You can, change, you can exchange Vanguard chips for Supporter chips. I like the fact that they're synced in the same day. So while you're grinding like crazy on one day, you can still kind of mix and match what you need um, based on your uh, what, what uh, units you're upgrading. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, no, I guess there isn't. There's not, well, at least I don't have it. There might be one, um, but it doesn't look like there's any worker here that gives you a bonus for um, chips. So as you guys can see, some of these workers here are better at elite materials, random materials, skill summary, base material, which I, Shaw is like su supremely great for that. And if you look at this, base material, elite material, skill summary, no, nobody for furniture that I saw and nobody for chips that I saw thus far, but there you go. So that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. I got some grinding to do. I'll probably be back a little bit later because I do want to jump into this banner. So stay tuned for that. Um, until next time, my name is FG3000. I do thank you uh, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy leveling up those vanguards. See ya.